the spotlight at least I am on Bray Wanderers. Josh Mormon though, played for a long time and always played well and had the right spirit about the game. In a long time they're the same set of defenders all in different positions. So we'll go with these two uh, for full backs. Bo McKeever, played centre half, played left back, could play midfield and he was a great servant to play. And the left back, Morris Farrell. Now Morris, uh, like a lot of players in the league, like the Australian, could talk a lot when they play. He could play, and that's the main thing I'm concerned about with this team. And I need two centre backs then for the Bray team. And Mick Doohan, he was strong, he was tough, and he could do one thing that's very important he could kick the damn ball. Not everybody can do that to great effect. And Colin Phillips beside him would be the back four. Now, in that back four as well, you could have Colin Tresson. But he was so good all around, I'm going to put him in midfield, maybe right of the midfield. He's Colin. Dermot Judge and Tommy McDermott on the left. Tommy was a very good player. Never quite the, the press that he was entitled to, I think, for his skill on the ball. But he was a good player. And so that's then my midfield for Bray. Playing off the front too, and in that hole, so to speak. Zaid, him and Zaid, now he's been around since his bread is. But he was a very good player. Up front then I have uh, a man who scored a hat-trick in the first FAI Cup final played at Lansdowne Road. That's John Ryan. And my second front player also played with a few other clubs, but uh, I remember him fondly with Bray. And that's Jason Byrne, cousin of Robbie Keane's. And it's funny the way it runs in the genes that Jason could get goals from anywhere. And he's still getting them. It wouldn't surprise me if eventually he's out there on a walking stick and still getting goals. They were once called Bray Unknowns. With that team, it wouldn't be on.